Let's go to Comsec now. Tom Petrovsky joins us for a look at the markets today. What's the read, Tom? Well, Pete, at this stage, uh, we don't have much of a read because the futures are just pointing to a slight gain at the start of trade. Uh, that could change later on in the day, but we've got some important inflation data to look through. So uh, in terms of what we saw in the Northern Hemisphere last night, uh, we're in the final stages of the US session. Again, the moves have been uh, pretty constrained. The Nasdaq's up four-tenths of a percent. The S&P 500 is up by a tenth of a percent. The Dow Jones is down by a third of a percent point to make, Pete, is that in coming days, we'll see uh, quite a number of important reports out of the US, including a key measure of inflation, which has the potential to ignite things in the context of uh, some stronger inflation figures that we have seen most recently. If that's reflected in these numbers, then these record highs that we've become accustomed to uh, might perhaps uh, fade from view somewhat. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and to that end, we have got uh, interest rates both long and short term at their highest levels in around three months. So anecdotes worth pointing out last night, uh, we had uh, an organisation called Norwegian Cruise Lines. Pete, I know you'd like to get on a boat yourself. Uh, they have uh, said that demand for cruising is at record highs and that was reflected in their better than expected earnings and the shares were up by about 16%. The futures are pointing to a, a gain of about a tenth of a percent when we kick off. Bear in mind that we've got iron ore prices at a four month low. We did have a little bit of a bounce for miners in London last night. Rio Tinto shares were up by about 2%, but the headwinds are certainly uh, um, stiffening as far as iron ore prices are concerned, where China uh, has been relating to the most recent news. So that's worth keeping in mind. Inflation numbers today, they're the monthly ones. They don't carry as much weight as the uh, quarterly ones, but they'll still be looked at pretty carefully. Thanks, Tom.